Capricorns, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at October 23 through October 29. This week's planetary dance, Capricorns, is two steps forward and one step back. A Mercury-Neptune trine on Tuesday, October 24 is a step in the right direction as it provides easy access to your intuitive side. If your job requires logic or critical thinking, this is one of those days when you might want to shut the door and not hear how all the groovy people who work in the creative side of your job are doing. If you're a creative writer, a photographer, or someone who's involved in the creative process, it's a really good time this week to let your intuitive side guide you. Mercury-Neptune trines are also great days to take a short trip with no real destination in mind, just jumping in the car and heading somewhere where Mother Nature beckons. Good times continue to roll on Thursday, October 26, the day that the Sun and Jupiter meet up for a one-time conjunction in your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. Mercury's in there as well. Enthusiasm is high. So if you start out expecting the best, you might just get it. And that's Thursday, Capricorns. It's time to take a step back Friday. That's when Venus and Pluto have another conflict and extreme feelings can become the new normal. Although this Venus-Pluto square can be deeply transformative, the changes can come in the form of jealousy and or manipulation, both of which are not healthy. Keeping in mind that Mars, the planet of control, the planet of energy, the planet of stimulation in Libra is causing issues. Mars in Libra is like oil and water. It just doesn't mix because Mars being the aggressor doesn't like being in Libra, which is the least aggressive sign and the sign that's all about can't we just love each other, can't we just get along. So if you're feeling as if you're pushing against something and you're being pushed back, that's the reason why. You might have to wait until Mars moves on into Scorpio to really get your way. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.